It's day 84 of the Beard of Brace phase. I think I uploaded eight vlogs today. When I look at how many I'm behind, it's a little bit disheartening. I'm still behind by 12 days, which is a ridiculous amount of editing to do. Thanksgiving's probably going to take a little bit longer because I have so many different clips. And if you're watching this one, you've probably already seen those videos. I am really excited to have put over a week's worth of content online. Now I've got to make sure that this week I'm at least editing two vlogs a day. Doing that at least gets me a little bit closer every day to getting back on track. My hope is that I can edit three or more vlogs a day until I get completely caught up. I think the worst thing that could happen at this point is that... I am behind on day 100. That is something I don't want to do. I want to be 100% on track on day 100. 100 is one of those numbers that just sounds good. I feel like if I'm back on schedule on day 100, I'll have accomplished something really big. There's this completeness about 100. It's like 100%. It's complete. It's full. It's just a great number to hit. And in the back of my mind, that day 100 has been a huge milestone. Since I'm behind 12 days right now, and this is day 84, there's not a lot of wiggle room for getting behind anymore, especially especially if I want to be on track on day 100. Plus, I'm getting really bored of the vlog topic of editing my vlog. Once I get caught up and get to this video, it's gonna be so bored editing me talking about editing me. It's kind of inception-y if you think about it. One of the interesting things about editing these daily videos from the past is there's so much that I've forgotten about those days. But the days where I record and edit in the same day, I don't forget what happened in those days. They're very, very clear. Whereas if I just record and I don't edit the same day. It's kind of a surprise to me what happened that day. And I remember, oh yeah, that did happen. That is what I was thinking. The other weird thing is that knowing what's coming in the future while I'm editing something from the past gives me sort of this bias to edit certain things out. Things that I was thinking or feeling based on my knowledge of the future. It's kind of a bizarre thought to edit the past to conform to the future. I'm trying really hard not to do that because I want these vlogs to be authentically what I was thinking when I was recording it. And it goes to show how your future experiences influence your memories, which could be a complete video topic in and of itself. So I don't wanna go down that rabbit hole right now, maybe in a future vlog. Just really interesting concepts that have come to mind as I'm editing the past. As always, hope this wasn't horrible.